Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the new Snap UI tool we're building. This is an enhancement for the new Unity GUI. We love the new GUI but we find the laying out manually by hand to be a bit irritating. So we've been looking for scripts that can help us. So to start off I'm just going to show you how we build a login panel using the column and row layouts. So the first thing we need obviously is a panel. It'll be a login panel. And I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. We don't want it to take up the whole screen. And for simplicity, I'm going to anchor it in the center. So let's see, what's the sort of size we've got? Okay, probably a bit narrow, but that's fine. We'll work with that. So first thing I need on top of this would be a label. This label would tell us the title, login screen. Uh, silly and we will make it centered and we will make it bold now I'm not going to go to the trouble of showing you how to hook up all the normal unity UI stuff I assume you've watched tutorials on that I'm just going to show you how the layout stuff works so I need a label for the username and I will put that at the base so that it looks nice let's just run this and see uh, everything's on top of each other but it's looking fine so far Right, last, let's add ourselves a text entry box. Uh, I'm purposely not aligning anything because that's the purpose of the column layout. So I'm going to add that here. Add component, uh, column layout, and there we go. You can see the column layout. It's got a couple of parameters, left, alignment, top. It's got a border matching of widths, making all components have the same width, all have the same height. So if I hit run now, you'll see that it's laid it out in a column. The order of the units is the same as the order of the actual items in the child hierarchy of the transform. So we're going to add ourselves another text, and this one will be the password, and last but not least, an input field for the password. And all aligned nicely. I oh, just want to make the password aligned at the bottom. Right, so that's the beginning of our login. Now we need a button. Now I'm going to create two buttons at the base of this. But first, I'm going to create another panel. So I'm going to put these buttons on a panel at the bottom. So we're going to move this panel to here. And I'm just going to set it scaling to the corner. And I'm going to get rid of the image script on it because I don't actually need an image on this panel. This panel is purely for the layout of my buttons. Add two buttons to this. And a second button. I'll call the first button login. I'm going to assume you know how to assign buttons to functions. That's well outside our parameters here. And this is the back button. So if we hit run now, back and log in on top of each other, but otherwise they're aligned in that panel. So we're going to add a row layout to our button panel. Add component, row layout. And if I run this now, it'll work, but back and log in will exceed the boundaries of the panel above. So when I hit run, you see that these are not forced to fit into the panel above them. They just extend past it. So what we can do is we set our alignment on the row to fit. This will force them to fit into the width of our row. Now they actually fit in. And what I'm going to do is actually use fit on the column as well. So I'm going to say horizontal alignment on this column is to fit. And those items will also then extend and fill this border. Now, if you look closely, you can see that these are far too close to the edge of everything. So what I'm going to do is go into the layout that we have, and I'm going to give them four pixels on the left and on the right. Now it's a little bit neater. Last thing we want to do is make this fit nicely into this, and make the components fit nicely into this panel. I just want to change the height of the login panel itself and then I'm going to tell it to fit from top to bottom. 
and do the same thing for the buttons because at the moment they only fit horizontally so whatever space is allocated to this button here we hit play and everything's nice and neat and I'm going to put a few spaces around the login and back button to make them look nicer so I can give separate borders to this row layout within this column layout so I'm just going to give them three pixels on all the sides and let's take a look at that there we go so very basic login panel form all the layout managed by scripts instead of us having to manually click and drag everything all over the place I think I'm going to center this text and look a bit nicer and top aligned and then one other thing as you can see with these buttons they're in the back buttons on the right and the login buttons on the left and if I want to change that I just drag the one button move it above the other and when we hit play they realigned so the layout just follows that this layout is real time there's also the ability to do the layout in the editor so if you go down at the bottom of the edit for the column script there's a do layout button if you hit it it does the layout for you in the editor and you can review it from there this is integrated with the undo system so that if you do that you can make changes to the borders the layouts and, and repeatedly test the way that it looks and that concludes the demonstration of the layout system, or at least the very first version of it. Thanks very much. Cheers.